For the longest time, we've been hearing about AR, VR in the application of uh, improving consumer experience in gaming. So very little has been said about how we can actually use to improve the internal operation of the service provider. And the reason why we want to use AR, VR is because we want to actually solve certain issues such as the need to be physically there at a certain place at, the, at some time to perform the job. And also uh, in certain areas, when we are there, we want to have our hands free to do the job, to focus on the real job that we need to do, right, without being bothered with all the supplementary information that we need to fiddle with our gadgets, and even manuals on hand. And lastly, to how, how we can actually explore using ARVR in the area of training. So to me, I feel that these are the three possible potential areas where we can apply the technology for AR and VR. Okay, I'm, I'm just thinking, um, uh, clubbing this into specific use cases. Uh, maybe the first one can be uh, more on the training part, um, where like, okay, like you don't need to have a specific trainer to uh, do the trainings on a regular basis. Uh, you can um, put in all your training related materials uh, more in a visualized fashion. Uh, leveraging the uh, AR, VR uh, technologies. Uh, so, so that is one use case we can look at. Uh, the second one can be uh, how like, okay, like you can use this technology for the field operations. So you mentioned about hands-free, how, how like, okay, you can do. And not just only like, okay, like uh, um, uh, having, using this technology for uh, ready inputs that is available for them to handle the field operations, but also like, okay, like if they have to get some uh, real-time guidance from an expert, how they can do that conversation, right? So, so we can look at uh, all these combinations as part of the second use case, which will be more on the field operations. Uh, then I'm thinking that, okay, like uh, the new uh, workforce that is going to come in, right? Uh, they are not going to really look at the old way of doing, like taking a large CAD draw drawing paper and go and explore like whether it is uh, the data center or like okay like uh, outside plant engineering right uh, so what we can also look at is like how in a data center or a, a network operation center uh, a new um, uh, new age workforce goes and try to solve problems right and uh, how you can provide guidance for them uh, using ar vr right uh, so that they get both the real time information Plus, uh, they also uh, have the visuals to navigate uh, within your data centers, right? And at the moment, we are actually looking for participants who can actually provide us with um, the devices itself, so AR, VR glasses, as well as participants who can actually uh, develop programs that are more visual. So, how can we actually uh, code those programs to present all those virtual worlds and being having those augmented information presented on the glasses. So basically these are the two groups of participants that we are looking for.